Yeah. Yeah. Well, I almost got banished today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mystified. I think it's not. I think he's. And he is, that depend on he how worked. he writes that up? Yeah, yeah I think, how, I, I'm interested to hear the court reports. <laughs> yeah. so, I mean, everything well, I think everybody it. needs to know exactly what happened that coronation. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. to this. I know. I so, know. <laughs> somebody mispronounced uh, Katrin's name during the toast, and it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me either. <laughs> <laughs> the coronation of Edmund I. And I wanted to write a song, not necessarily for Edmund, but for Tarquin, who was setting, uh, stepping down and had given me my world. So I did Inchingham research. And I asked around so that I could write a song about Tarquin. I actually had a verse about Tarquin and Aveline that never got sung. Because I wanted to match it with a song, with a verse about Edmund and Catherine. And I asked around. Because they had lived in the Midlands, uh, especially Edmund, who was uh, room, college roommates actually with Bardolf and uh, some of the other guys. <laughs> uh, move along. Move yeah, move along. along. <laughs> and uh, now I asked around if they knew anything about Edmund. I got lots of interesting comments. <laughs> uh, none of which I could put into a song. <laughs> And, and one fellow who shall remain nameless, although how many nights do you know that we're famous, <laughs> said, and this is an exact quote, well, he's not as pompous as he used to be. <laughs> and I didn't put him into the song, not because I was afraid to, and I hope everybody understands by now there's very little entry man wouldn't dare to say. <laughs> I didn't put it in the song because I didn't know if it was true. <laughs> well, I got to know Edmund pretty well for the next two reigns. <laughs> and his third reign, I happened to be King of Great so I had a chance to work with him. And uh, I think that he grew uh, in service to the king. Having two children on the modern yes. world and changed your He grew in wisdom <laughs> and he, he aged well as a king. And I, I said with honesty that I felt that it was a pleasure to have served. And then I raised the toast at there at the coronation feast. I said, "To Prince Edmund, who is not as popular <laughs> as he used to be." Now, is that worthy of banishment? I asked. Yeah! <laughs> Almost. Almost. Oh, Actually, it is yeah. because he did. Probably oh, nobody, nobody else in the hall, but the lawyer and I who is here. Let me whisper it to you. We yeah. were kneeling here. <laughs> so the rest of us only heard that you were banished. Yes. Like I said, it depends on the court report, because I was standing right there, and I said, I thought he was making fun. God, he did. How many people can be banished The first when thing he sick. said to him, when John gets up there, you lean down or, or you know, in a very low voice, because I was sitting right there, right in front of Edmund, and he said... You've made a grave miscalculation. I am as pompous as I used to be. 